It's Lad in you and a bingo today with Phil Taggart. Oi, oi. And with Chris here. Oi, oi. Internet sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the new Dan and Phil? No. <laughs> what is going on with this? It's just been on Danish TV, on Polish TV, <laughs> and it's been on Good Morning America, the, the, the like national breakfast show on TV in America. This is the Mila Kunis interview from yesterday. Just, it's like Gangnam. It's not like Gangnam Style. It is. You're a new side, Chris. But it is one of those things where you don't know what's <laughs> going to happen and then you just put it out there and before you know it, you've got billions of views. You're going to be rich beyond your wild... You're not going to be rich, because. But, but it's it's really good. Mm. I'm really pleased for you. Thank you. Is it sinking in yet? No, it's just... It's odd, isn't it? You're really s- odd. You're a celebrity now. You can afford to be a bit of a diva. Can I? Yeah. Don't say that. Of course you can. Like, at least for today. You can be a diva the rest of the day because you're now... The most famous person in Radio 1 today. Today. Good. <laughs> At least for 24 hours, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Bask in it. Okay, it's time for bingo. It's Tuesday. It's 1.45. Hey, 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 this <laughs> is Innuendo <laughs> Bingo. It's never really 1.45, is it? Rarely. <laughs> Rarely. Twice a day. Phil Taggart is wearing nylon. <laughs> and... That's not funny. It's not funny. Uh, you're it's, overtired. It's and also, um, a, a lot of your nighttime listeners are going, uh, still got the beard. I'm going to shave it off between now and the show. I've brought in um, a razor and some shaving foam. Oh, shaving at work. That's weird. <laughs> Chris does that. Yeah. Really? Do yeah. you actually? I think that's weird. I thought just big middle class sort of businessmen did that. No. No. I well, don't, well no. now that you're a star. Mm. Hmm. He'll have someone to shave him soon. <laughs> Do you remember you shaved me? Yeah, once? let's not get into that. Oh God, that was a weird one. Yeah, really weird. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. He'd never done it before. <laughs> he never had no, a wet, we'll, we'll move never on. had a wet anyway, shave. Got the story. <laughs> oh Phil, you're going to be nice and dry in that waterproof there you've got. And are we ready? Are you watching it on your phone? Watch us. Okay. <laughs> First off, we can we take the water, please? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. May the best man lose. <laughs> We're off to Saturday Kitchen, and this chef is very experienced. I need Josh to come down, and I need him to think. I've been tossing for God knows how many years. <laughs> <laughs> we are far too close, Phil. <laughs> I like I like the closeness. <sighs> We're going to bash heads. <laughs> no, this, this is the, the studio that I got concussion in. That's oh, why good. they put that guard up that's behind. I know. I thought it was like an attractive feature of the studio, but it's not. It's just to stop you bashing your head. I need Josh to come down and I need him to think. I've been tossing for God knows how many years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good start. <laughs> okay. Now we're going over to Bargain Hunt. A constant source of innuendo bingo. And is this what they... What? Right there. I was choking. Okay. Water, please. <coughs> First thing you know, big good fatality. <laughs> is this what they do on Bargain Hunt these days? I like the way the light catches well, it's yeah. girls. Yeah. I think it's right. door knobs. Door knobs. 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 <laughs> lovely knobs, <laughs> girl. <Yeah>. No, lovely. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot to bring in spare jeans. He's amazing. <laughs> He's knobs. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, Hello, cool. Molly, who's halted her mass revision to watch Inyo de Bingo. Mark in Glasgow in uni, playing it with friends and watching it at the same time. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. They look like twins, says Nick in Cornwall. Seriously? Really? Okay, Who's more that? water, please. Mm-hmm. And let's get some breaking news. Staff will be getting ready to seal his apartment. They even seal the lift that leads up to the apartment. They will smash the fisherman's ring. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, merciful Lord. <laughs> Who's wettest? Um, it's, a, it's a draw. It's, it's a draw. Yeah, it's a draw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this on your computer now or on your phone. You can watch us. Okay. <laughs> More water? Yeah, man. Alice Levine, what is she like? Time for this. <laughs> With last Levine. I got my maracas out. <laughs> I remember that. She does that all the time. I got my maracas out. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has uh, managed to 
to hold it there. If you're ever stuck for a bingo, just go on the iPlayer and listen to Levine. <laughs> she, she comes out with them all the time. I know. Do you want to spare? Uh, I won't spare you. Ooh. Get better soon, Alice. Get well soon, Levine. Okay. Here we go. Over to... <laughs> over to Linda Bellingham's Tasty Travels now. <laughs> 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 I don't know if anyone's ever seen this, but it's uh, quite an eye-opener. Well, it may have a bigger oven, but size isn't everything. It's not a patch on my batty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet God. <laughs> These are amazing ones. <laughs> These are really good. These are it's good. not a patch on my batty. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> I think the people who sent them in should get extra points. <laughs> <laughs> if you send that one. in, give yourself some points. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, mostly new clips here as well. So thank you. You're doing a really good job. Thank you if you're sending in in, in you end bingo at the moment. It is incredible. Mm. Keep sending them in. You ready? Yeah. Oh God, look at that. What's happened? Um, I'm, I'm just realising I'm wet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Funny that. Yeah. Janine off of EastEnders on, <laughs> su on Sunday brunch. A King Edward potato, a nice floury potato, layered with butter. So it's known as a butter oh, pie. Oh, I do like a bit of meat in my pie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Janine. Oh, I do pie. like a bit of meat in my pie. <laughs> she pushed Barry off the cliff. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> he did as well. <laughs> that happened. That's just fine. That happened. I forgot about that. That was yeah. really good, wasn't it? Yeah. I was gripped. <laughs> it wasn't even a cliff. It was like a small... <laughs> it was small not a ledge. Bluff, it? Really it was like a, a, like a small mound. Mm. Is that... Oh, that's one. Okay, and now over to EastEnders <laughs> again. <laughs> but current EastEnders, not where Janine pushes Barry <laughs> off a mound. Bless Dot Cotton, mm. reminiscing on days gone by with Ian Beale. Oh, Ian. <laughs> Sometimes I look at you and I remember that boy what used to like to lick the bowl out when we'd make bums. Do you remember? Yeah, of course I remember. <laughs> Not even one, but I like it. <laughs> it's as if you think hard enough. It just sounds bad, but it's not. He used to like to lick the bowl out. OK. There you go. That's one. OK. It's so wet. Yes, it's very wet down there. My It's very wet down there. My groin is wet. Okay, back to bargain hunt. <laughs> and they like to issue quite specific instructions these days. So you're almost dead, sir, according to his estimate, to make a profit. So let's all cross our legs yeah. and look at the truncheon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phil. That's the first one I've ever held. Phil held it. Chris went. Okay. Now over to BBC Athletics. It's Denise Lewis, and one of the athletes is really in trouble. Then I remember seeing her lip lip read and saying that my pole's too stiff. <laughs> well held. My pole's too stiff. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Okay. More. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one today. <laughs> Right, we're going over to Top Gear and James May making a startling revelation. We've just entered Jezza. <laughs> Come on, through Jezza. I think that's Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Um, <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. Don't, no, really no, don't. Oh, oh, no, I am. Okay. It's good. Ready? More water there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Over to Gabby Roslin now on BBC <laughs> London, asking all the leading questions. So, Super Cycling Man, in your Superman outfit, uh, is your helmet special as well? <laughs> <laughs> the best bit is the preamble to that. <laughs> so, Super Cycling Man. That's a, that's a superhero. <laughs> yes, I'm Super Cycling Man. I really like that one. Okay. Ready? More. Mm. Oh. Okay. Mm. And now over to Escape to the Country. I love this show. 
and here's why. Well, that seemed to get you very excited. Yes, it did, especially downstairs. <laughs> 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 Again, that so seemed to get you very excited. Yes, it did, especially downstairs. And thanks, Jen. One more. Right then. Okay, All right. let's go for a super one. As much water as you can actually fit to yep. the back of your throat. Ready to, so, to right. the point where it's spilling out. Like that's how much water is mm -hmm. in that right okay. now. So. I should stop licking my brush. I was just like. <laughs> Oh, something, there's something stuck in my craw. <laughs> Alice Levine there. Damn you, Levine. <laughs> I've actually one. got one more. Oh. It's a good. It's a good one. I didn't even know what a craw was. No. Ah, oh, my hair. I did it all well for the XX. I hope you're having a shave for the XX. That's mm. not acceptable. Mm. Over to Nick Hewer now. <laughs> 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 on Countdown. With details on how he likes to unwind of an evening. Some Stilton cheese and a glass of red wine. Perfect, perfect <laughs> dinner. So wine and a growl is your perfect night. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> uh, that was well, Tuesday's in your bingo. Well done, lads. It was a wet one, but it was good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Phil. Remember, live lounge late tonight. The XX is going to be in. XX, you can watch it. Yes. Yes, and you can listen on Radio 1 from 10 o'clock if you're a fan. You must be here for the XX tonight.